say something like, hello, this is me, this is my friend, and we're playing this. All right. Tim, start this off for me. What? Come on, I, I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> Fine. Uh, this is, uh, wait, did you want to use your real name or screen name? I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh. Uh, already we're at PG-13, thanks. Um, My channel is not for the young kids, apparently. You're not a young kid. Well, obviously. Anyway. We're playing Magical Diary. <laughs> yes, he's, he's Jordan and I'm Tim. We're going to be uh, reading this since there's no audio dialogue. Yeah. Uh, I've I, this. Yeah, I, I haven't played this either. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, You're lying. <laughs> I, I just loaded up today and we're like, hmm, we should record this. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I don't even know. So, um, did you find anything under load game? Well, yeah, yeah, because we just made a dude to see if it would work. So, I'm going to load this from the so, very start of the game, so. so you don't have to watch us make a dude. So, what's that 1415 then? Shh. <laughs> all right. All right, Tim, you called me out. We played for 14 seconds before we decided to go back. Oh, shut up. <laughs> all right. Uh, no one likes 20 minute intros. <laughs> It all started about three years ago on my 13th birthday. I was playing tag in the back garden with my friends, but when I tried to jump out of the way of the girl who was chasing me, I jumped so high I flew all the way over the hedge. At first I couldn't believe it was real. No one else could either. Within a few minutes they'd all convinced themselves that nothing unusual had happened. Then the next day a strange old woman showed up at my doorstep to offer me the choice for my future. That's choice with a capital C, Tim. That must be important. Oh. And now here I am, 16 and on my way to Iris Academy, an actual school for magic. Oh, the screen lies in a hidden valley in the Green Mountains, about 150 miles from my home in New Hampshire. Hampshire, Hampshire. Oh, that must be important because those are capitalized too. Yes. <laughs> like this M here at the start of the sentence. Yes. My. My parents drove me out here, but we've already said our goodbyes. I asked them to drop me off at the outskirts of the school grounds so I could walk the rest of the way on my own. I knew Dad would cry and make a fuss over me before letting me go, and I didn't want my new classmates to see me for the first time looking like that. Actually, I'm surprised Dad agreed. He's always been a little overprotective. Maybe he's finally recognizing that I'm not a little kid anymore. Anyway, it means I have to carry my own suitcases, which contain all that I have to my name for the next nine months. Not many clothes, because we'll be wearing school uniforms all the time, but I have some books, pictures of my friends and family, and decorations for my new room. Where you're going, you won't need friends or family. <laughs> Probably not. It's Sunday, September 1st, apparently. So oh. I'm guessing this game keeps track of time, too. Uh, there it is, up ahead. The campus looks more like a very posh boarding school than a home for wizards and witches. Pretty buildings, lots of trees, and wide open spaces. <laughs> no fire mages here. <laughs> Summer is still lingering here. The leaves haven't yet started to burn. I don't know. If this is really <laughs> magic like I was theorizing, maybe there are fire mages. I walk a little faster, feeling slightly too warm in this long robe and cape. Flower beds and arches stretch out around me. So many doors and windows, and they all look the same. There are three residential halls for girls and three for boys. I've been accepted to Horse Hall, which is for, quote, adventurous girls, whatever that means. <laughs> the other two girl halls are the Butterflies, who are probably girly girls, and the Snakes. I'm not sure who would want to be a snake. I'd much rather be a horse. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly where Horse Hall is. I have a letter about freshman orientation. Where did I put it? I looked down at my suitcases while I walked, trying to remember which pocket I stuck the letter into. When suddenly... <laughs> I bump into someone. Oops, sorry. <laughs> He's an older man. <laughs> this is the best idea we ever had. <laughs> yes. I don't know. He's an older man in school robes with no hall symbol on them, which means he's probably a professor. This is not a good first impression. Sorry, sir. All right, read that shit. <laughs> <laughs> a new student I see, and what might your name be? <laughs> he has a lovely voice, <laughs> dark and rich with a refined British accent, and he doesn't seem to be too angry with me. I relax a little. <laughs> 
perfect, Tim. <laughs> you don't have to make that sound more British. <laughs> Obviously. I told you to roll with it, so we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> Rain lawn, sir. I just got here, and I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be. Also, I'm not even going to attempt to sound like a girl. My voice trails off as I notice he's no longer looking at me. Instead, he's paying, paging through the large book he was carrying. Miss Lawn, is it? Uh -oh. oh, I'm reading your part. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot we were on a call all of a sudden. Miss Lawn, is it? My grass knees mode. I mean, wild seed. How unsurprising. <laughs> that look <laughs> with that voice. I'm like, I don't know, Tim. That's why it's perfect. Wild? More than likely, a complete waste of my time. <laughs> you have no idea how much you have already, how much you've been given. <laughs> and you will throw it all away. You look so disapproving now. He scribbles something into the book, then slams it shut. I love to draw. Ten demerits. Not a promising start. Oh man, you look all smug when you said that too. Mm. You're like, I love giving out demerits. <laughs> Keep this up and you'll get detention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is, negative ten. <laughs> Pay more attention to your studies than you do when you're walking. Miss <laughs> Ron. Or you'll find yourself expelled from this unburnable academy <laughs> before the new year. I'm sensing this is a challenge. <laughs> to see if we could burn down the school. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> With a snap of his wrist, he wraps his cape around him and stalks away. Oh, he made a dramatic exit, too. I need to use the bathroom. Uh, you do? <laughs> Uh, I was like, we could take a small break. Oh. <laughs> I haven't even started school yet, and already one of my teachers hates me. I can hear you. <laughs> After a bit of looking around, I found the way into the girls' dormitories and located my hall. There are nine doors in this hall, only one of which is labeled bathroom. If each bedroom has at least two girls in it, I hope that's a big bathroom. Seriously. <laughs> I'm still in here. <laughs> My own letter informed me I would have two roommates, but didn't tell me their names or anything else about them. I haven't seen anyone wearing a horse insignia. All I do is find my room and wait for them to show up. Or all I can do, rather. Here it is, room three. I open the door and pick up my suitcases. Hmm. Not bad room. Walking inside, I find a fairly ordinary looking bedroom. No skulls or drippy candles or blacklight posters on the walls. Blacklight posters? <laughs> That totally screams magic, Tim. Uh, I don't know. They seem nope. kind of witchy to me. No incense or crystals anywhere, unless they just haven't had time to unpack yet. Obviously. A girl who had been sitting on one of the beds stands up. You want to voice her, too? Sure. All right. Unlike you, I'll try. Um, hello? All right. You're a horse. That's me! <laughs> You're like, I like that. You looked away. I was like, I, I didn't mean it the way it sounded. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rain. Are you my roommate? One of them. I'm Ellen. That's Virginia's bed. But she went out to talk to somebody. Uh-oh. There's only two beds, Tim. <laughs> Are we going to have to share? <laughs> no, I am not sleeping with you. I all have right. every character, other than the one that you sleep with. <laughs> alright, alright. Good. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Nowhere. <laughs> also known as Virginia. <laughs> the state I mean. <laughs> I'm not sure where Virginia the girl is from. Uh, I tilt my head. You don't have much of a southern accent. Seriously, Tim, you don't sound like you're from Virginia at all. <laughs> That's because I'm British. <laughs> That's not because I'm far. an alien. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that far south. And my 
family was it from there? You're like, I'll just change the voices to suit my whim. I'm okay with that. Uh, this is why I don't voice act. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. What about you? Tee <laughs> New Hampshire, not too far from here. Are all these books yours? They are now. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> uh, you are looking kind of shifty away, like... You didn't see me steal them, did you? <laughs> well, they were here when I came, but soon they'll all be mine when I leave. Uh. There aren't any computers here, so I brought my old ink encyclopedias. Wait, there's magic and tech? I don't know. You know. It's New Hampshire. I think it's just normal world. Huh. But there's magic, so it's not normal world. We'll find out, Tim. <laughs> okay. It'll be a learning experience. We'll do this together. <laughs> Ew, that sounds gay. <laughs> and those are textbooks for the class I would be taking this year at my other school if I hadn't left. I must be a really good student. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I probably wouldn't even open them, but I didn't know what I needed. So, I didn't want to need something and not have it. Those books are everything I could find out about magic. The real kind, now that I know it's real. Unlike your hair. <laughs> yeah, isn't it great? We're gonna be witches, just like in the movies. Except for, you know, like the whole, uh, <laughs> all of the terrible things of the warty green noses. I do love to eat children. Oh, good. <laughs> that was the part I was looking forward to the most. <laughs> yeah. oh. They're so uh. delicious and tender. <laughs> I like them deep fried. Hmm. We're wild seed too. I guess this is a term. We'll find out what it means. I guess. What does? Yep. Here it goes. <laughs> what does wild seed mean? It means you're my Oh! oh. <laughs> Should I read her? Uh, sure. Alright. Uh, I'm tempted to do something really dumb to be like, It means your parents were magic! <laughs> so you're like a wildflower! <laughs> it means your parents are dead, you're Batman! <laughs> she holds out her hand for me to shake. Ah, oh, that's Virginia. Uh, me, my family's all magical, so I always knew I'd be a witch. I'm Virginia. <laughs> she has a pretty strong grip. <laughs> this seems so wrong. <laughs> I, I like it. <laughs> uh, I've had a long night. <laughs> Rain. Pleasure to meet you. Is it a problem being wild? I met a professor and he was sort of rude about it. A professor? Shaggy black hair, big nose. Totally not outside. <laughs> Yeah, I sort of bumped into him. Oh no, now you'll be on Grabby's blacklist. <laughs> oh, that's my character. Yeah, the but... Professor Grabs Girls? That line after how you were reading his voice. I'm like, yes. <laughs> no, that's his name. Professor Grabiner. Grabbing her. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> this is getting better by the second. <laughs> totally. Rated R. <laughs> <laughs> he hates me. He hates everybody, so it doesn't make much difference. Just watch out for the whips and chains. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Nobody cares if you're born a witch or not. Not really. And everybody's scared of Gravy. He's a monster. William warned me about him. Who's William? My big brother. Bigger brother. He's a senior. Donald's a freshman like us. They're in Wolf Hall. But enough about boys. What sport do you play? What do you like? Tim. Oh, oh, sorry. I like softball, but I'm better at volleyball. Bigger ball, you know. <laughs> Good, strong arms. Me, I prefer <laughs> soccer. What about you, Rain? Uh, I guess I'm mostly best at track. I like to run. Flee from your perils! <laughs> Your legs, her arms, and my fighting spirit. We're the total package. Go horses. That sounds gay. <laughs> Are those sports teams for wizards here? You look kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> or do they kick magical fireballs instead? 
Not exactly. There's bounders, but that's not a real sport. But there is a gym, and we can start our own sports teams if we have to, right, Rain? I guess? Sorry, sorry. I'm rolling you over, aren't I? I'll let you unpack. Come on, Ellen. I'll introduce you to my brothers. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Stay here and unpack or want to meet them too? I'm yeah. going to be antisocial and stay here and unpack. I'll see you later. Don't forget, Rain. Orientation's tomorrow and you'll get to see old Gravy again. Great. Yay! <laughs> I guess I'd better start putting things away. Everything moves quickly here, and I didn't don't intend to get left behind. Tomorrow I start learning magic. <laughs>